Hello and welcome back to yet another part and today we'll, f well I don't know if we'll finish it but we'll continue the hand. So <clears throat> I want to try something at, and to make sure that we won't destroy anything in case it goes wrong I will on the one hand just save the file and which I did already but you know just save it and, and I'll make a copy of this and move it to the third layer and continue there, so just in case. Now, I think it might just work to you know, connect these uh, elements without doing much work and ending up with a pretty good hand. Well, it would be still quite low poly, but I mean, our entire character is not refined yet, so we're really approaching this at a very slow pace. Uh, who knows how much we'll have to read here. I even consider uh, retopologizing the hairs at this point, but we'll see how things turn out. So just make, we, we made already sure that things line up pretty well just by copying uh, the fingers out of the few faces that were there, but you see I'm really um, making the poly counts on every part now the same. The only thing left is here, and now we have everything we need. You can already start doing things like making this spherical and things like that, or you know, just round. And now the next thing to do is simply bridge those objects. And there's this bridge edge loops feature. Um, well, sometimes it goes wrong. I wonder if you can. Yeah, wonder if this changed anything. Okay, you know what? This didn't quite work. Probably because we didn't have any. We didn't give the tool any reference. Oh, probably because of the normals. Let's recalculate normals, and see if it works better this time. So select this edge, select this edge. Okay, this didn't quite work. Let's see if Blender can connect these two now. Haha. <laughs> uh, let's see if we probably made some settings wrong here. Or no, you know what? The reason for this is normally that the poly count is different. I don't get it. Wait a second. You know what? Let's just select this one here and Oh, I think I might get it. Let's just connect them like this. But here it should work. Yes. So here again, just select these pairs of... Okay, over here it will obviously not work, but... Uh, do it by hand instead. Just connect always those pairs of, of edges and then in here it should be easy to fill those just by selecting one of those edges and I mean the right one obviously the one that I selected and then just press F or use the fill feature one of those and after a little bit of clicking you should have a good looking hand. And now my theory is that with Subdivision Surface Modifier on this, that this might look pretty good already. So let's try it out. And I'm really pretty happy with the result of this um, hand, except maybe this area here. But we can fix that, of course, can we? Uh, let's think about something. For example, we might want to rip this area apart. And here as well. By the way, I think there is this loop is way too much. Let's delete this one. Okay, and... Okay, this is kind of wrong. Let's just rip everything apart and... Uh, merge these together again. And by doing that, we get some space here to 
create this put and rip this one apart and now this should connect towards here but we are still missing kind of some geometry oh that's a way so I just use this area here to fill this and maybe if we're lucky we can just connect that and have a good result that looks kind of good you know we might go back later and fix it and do it even better but as for now this is more than enough so there's our hand <laughs> quite easy and it looks good so And honestly, this is quite good for uh, rigging. It's, it's really easy to rig because you have really a low amount of polygons and vertices. So, but of course, I'm planning to, if we have, you know, if we have the motivation, everything, we'll keep uh, improving that later on. But for now, let's work with this as our hand and See how long we'll be satisfied with it. So let's take our hand and move a copy of it to our first layer. So I'm going to copy it and first layer. On the first layer, let's set it to smooth. Our, let's press Alt G to make sure it's in the center. And then in edit mode, I'll just position it. And once it's completely on one of the halves, I will add a mirror modifier to have it on both sides. And then let's have it connect. The arm is a bit unnecessary since we have it already. Um, so we have eight vertices there and 10 over here. We might try to connect them right away. No, actually, let's just leave that for later and you know we can change again our background images over here so we have again our original reference that way we can easily get the size right and just try to figure out a relaxed looking pose for the hands And once you have that, try to align those two parts as good as you can. So we have obviously a little bit of a spin in the lower arm. And we have hands. They are a bit too low in my opinion, even in the reference, so let's move them a little bit up and adjust our changes. You know, the shrink and flatten feature is quite useful from time to time. Um, it enables you to make you know, tubes thicker and thinner very easily. seems like everything worked well so there you go we have hands on our character I can't stop <laughs> adjusting things I just really want to get this right so you see it takes a bit of a while also proportional editing tools are useful at this point again but at some point you have to just be satisfied and leave it as it is <coughs> I mean, from, from one view, it looks like they're too large. From the other side, it looks like the hands are too small. It's really weird. And I have the feeling they're just too low placed, so the, the arms might be just too long. So if you're interested in these kind of things, study a little bit proportions of humans and 
drawing will help you a lot with that because if you want to draw humans this is the one thing that you really have to do and then you'll have a better idea of it i mean i i'm not very good at that so i just have learned the basics so i can apply some of it already but you know still a lot to learn so myself playing around figuring out what's good but you see i think it was worth um the bit of the, some of the these efforts to kind of position them correctly this looks now quite a bit better so uh we have finished our hands in just two parts um i'm quite satisfied with our result we'll continue working in the next uh part of this long tutorial and I hope you're all having fun. Have a good day.